Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a range comparison with the CZ Shadow 2 versus the HK USP Expert. Both similar in size, the Shadow 2 has a steel frame, the USP Expert has a polymer frame, 5.2 inch barrel with the HK, 4.9 inch barrel with the Shadow 2. And if we look here, we'll see that the HK goes a bit longer as expected. Let's start with the Shadow 2. Excellent handgun. This is the black and blue model with the blue aluminum grips. It has a 4.9 inch barrel. Incredible single action trigger. Breaks right around three and a half pounds with a reset right there. A lot of people compete with this. I love the Shadow 2. I think CZ did a great job. The rear sight is called Hajo. Height adjustable only. And then it has a fiber optic front sight. It has one of the smoothest double actions I have ever felt on a semi-auto handgun. Just really a nice double action and single action trigger pull. And that's why so many people love this handgun. Ambidextrous thumb safety. All right, and I like the way that hammer looks right there. Overall, great. Great handgun, top strap is serrated, has a one slot pick rail, excellent shooting and pointing handgun. It goes for right around $1,200. The optics ready model goes a little bit more and the overall fit, feel and function of the Shadow 2 is highly regarded in the gun world. I like those forward serrations and the overall feel. The, the front strap, highly textured as well as the back strap and 17 round magazines. The HK USP Expert with this model is in limited production. It has the 5.2 inch barrel and you'll notice it has that rubber ring right there. Locks the barrel up nice and tight. It has 15 round magazines and if I put a jet funnel on here, it will extend the grip in 18 round mags, which will work in this as is, but it will be more flush fitting with the jet funnel system. Nice single action trigger pull, looking at four pounds with a very short reset. Serrated black rear sights, regular front blade. It has this universal mounting rail in which you could add a pick rail to it. All right, they have that for this specific handgun. And I, I don't know how I feel about that. I'd rather just have it come with a rail. Huge trigger guard, ambidextrous thumb safety. All right, so you could carry this cocked and locked. I don't know why anybody would want to carry it, but also a ambidextrous magazine release right below the trigger guard. Small paddles there. So they do have larger ones with other HK models. I got this for a killer price. And this is selling for $1,400, $1,500, $1,600. So if you were between both of these handguns, you'd see that the HK USP Expert actually will cost you more than the Shadow 2. So which one would I go with? Well, I think both are fine handguns. Here we have a polymer frame handgun, all steel handgun, both shoot incredibly well. I like the USK Expert. I haven't fallen over heels in love with it at this point. I think it's a fine handgun, 15 round mags, excellent trigger, HK recoil reduction system, which is really neat. I like the way it shoots. And so far it has fed, fired and ejected everything that I put through it. The Shadow 2 is just a little more special. The steel frame is certainly nice. I like the trigger action better with the Shadow 2 and it's less expensive than the USP Expert. If I had to choose one, I'm going with the Shadow 2. Wish I had the Optic Ready model, but I don't. 
Couldn't wait to get my hands on it. And when I had the opportunity, I did. I have no regrets picking up the USB Expert because of the price I got. Plus, I've always wanted this handgun and I have it now. And I think with more range time, I'll get a little better with it. Not that there's a problem. I just feel more confident with the CZ Shadow 2. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.